Hey guys, I Abhishek. Welcome all of you to my channel Code with Newton, powered by Newton School. In today's video, we'll be talking about some amazing HTML tags that are there. Okay, some people even use it, but many of you don't use it because we don't see them a lot often. But they are quite and quite useful. So I'll show you them. So let's get started. So guys, let's get started with exploring amazing and some very useful tags of forms. So here we are. This is my like VS code which is ready and I have already opened that here. Okay, so like you can see the output and all that. Perfect. Let's get started. So of course, I'll generate some piece of code. HTML5. Okay, I am removing meta for now because I'll make a separate video on meta and explain you guys what are these metas and how they are useful. Okay, then you will explain you some of the amazing thing in these metas. Okay, till that time, let's explore other things apart from it. Okay, so this is more like forms. So like today I'll be telling you some of the amazing tags in form, more and more tags I'll be bringing. And these tags are not just, they are amazing tags. These tags are such tags, if we use them, it will lesser our burden a lot. Okay, so. Have a look, guys. So step number one. So what I'll do, I will. Okay, it's already suggesting me something. How am I getting that suggestion? Let's discuss that later. Okay, so I will use something called form set. Form or uh, I'm sorry, field set. Okay, F I E L T. So field set. Okay. So in the field set, you can basically write all the things. Okay. So. And then I'll give you something like, see, you can have a look. Uh, once I have some output, I'll sh even show you something what I'm cooking for. Okay. I'll have something let's call legend. Okay. Legend. And let's give it a name like, uh, let's suppose cricketer. C K E T -E cricketer. I guess. Okay. We are here. Okay. So it's a legend. So what I'll do, I'll first remove this. I think it should auto reload, but it's not reloading. Okay. So with field set, you'll get something like this kind of box with no text. Okay. Now I can write some text in in in, in that place, right? And this place. Cricketer. So cricketer is here, right? Awesome. Let's go more things. So what I'll create, I'll create a drop down a list of create, create uh, I mean to say cricketer, but in a very nice way. Okay. Oh my god, it's suggesting me a lot of things, but I don't want that. Okay. So let me take a small div. So sad. Okay, guys, let me know how I'm getting such amazing comments. Okay. So I'll have a label test. Okay, no need of for. And let's give it a name like cricketer. C R I S cricketer. Awesome. Awesome. So and let's take another div for our what is the input? Input type text name cricketer, ID cricketer. That's really awesome. So I will not go with so many things. You can go with so many things. Name and ID is not required as of now. Okay. Type text. Okay. They have even given me a placeholder. How many things they have given me? Required and all that. We don't need it, man. Okay. I'll just add a property here that is called list property. Okay. And we'll see how to use this list property. And give a name or a list property. Let's suppose names. Okay. I mean to say names of a ticket. Okay. So now what will I be using here? Okay. So now I want to create a data list. Okay, you can see the suggestions. These are a data list. In a data list, basically, it's more like a select option. Okay, but it's more presentable. Like currently, if you see the screen, okay, <laughs> it's there. But I can write it something, of course, because it's a input with a text option. Now, once I create a data list, you can see. Okay. So data list. Just one thing that you have to note. Okay, is that of course I have taken a, from the suggestion. I don't want to write it so much. But anyway, the suggestions are quite nice. Virat, Dhoni, Rohit, Shikhar, Kohli, Ubraj, it misses Sachin, that's really bad. Okay, but anyway, you can add it. So the ID that you have used here should be the same ID, the list name of the list. Okay, these should be same. Okay, and then here we use the options. It's much similar to the select one, right? Yeah, that is how it is. But yeah, so now let's explore a number of things. Okay, so you can see something here. Birat, Dhoni, Rohit, Shikhar, let's suppose you select it. Awesome. 
of course you can select it not only you can select it you can even search it you can, like let's suppose i search virat v r so it gives you a search and v is also present in virat so it give, it even give you that search so this is a searchable drop down list have you ever thought or wondered that you can make it with html no right yes you can <laughs> yeah guys so a search a searchable html list so now let's suppose the same thing you want to do, like searchable HTML colors. How will you do it? Simply, like if I have to do it, I'll simply copy paste this whole thing. Okay. And come down here and create a new thing. Let's rename it. I mean to say we need, need to rename it to color. See your color. Perfect. Awesome. So now here we are with the name color. Let's give it a color. See your LOR. Let's give it a name color. See your LOR. C O L O. We should give it colors, but okay. Let's uh, keep our grammar knowledge a little side for a moment. Oh, did I not close the tag? Sorry, it need to be closed also. Without that, it's also working. That's great, but data list need to be closed. Okay. I'm waiting for the suggestion because I don't want to write a color name on my own. Okay, so we have a, red, a lot of colors, and finally, I want to collect the data list. Awesome. Great. So now here we have a color option also, like the uh, normal red, green, blue. Okay, awesome. One more thing I want to show you. Let's suppose you are writing something. Let's suppose in here searching that was not there. So of course that can be written. Okay, that text can be written and submitted. Okay, even it's not there. So that it will also act as an input box plus searchable input box. So both the options. Yeah. So this is okay. The why am I showing you this color option especially? For a very simple reason, never make color like this. As simple as that. Why? Because we have a much better way to make colors instead of making like this. So let's remove blue. Instead of making something like this, why not make it some like comment it? I mean to say the comment comment the entire thing. Okay, not comment it. I don't want to remove like removing the code. Okay, and let's make an input and that is hot so we are just picking type is to color okay instead of type text we i'm writing type color that's all so now you will see something amazing okay now this is how you can select the colors don't you think this is a better way to select colors awesome there are a few more things i'll show you if you are not using this i'll highly suggest you to start using it if you require don't use it just for the sake of using it, the date. So now how do you write date? Do we create three, like what do you say? I mean to say input box for date, never, okay? This is all. So I just write the type as date. Date, here, date, please get closed. So the type is date. Here the type was colored, earlier the type was text, right? So now you'll get the date, something like this. You can select the date. You will get a proper calendar, right? I don't think anything better than this you can have asked from HTML, right? Throughout your life, you have always underestimated HTML. It's not so underestimated. Right? Okay. Okay. Uh, one more thing I'll show you that is for time. Almost similar. My suggestions, you will be like totally surprised how they are getting the suggestion which I'm thinking. Have I like rebuilt it? Or something no it's not like that it's basically these are tags that come after each other so my suggestion is basically quite nice okay okay so now it is here awesome you can select the timings so these are some of the amazing tags that i wanted to show you okay and start using them the thing is guys start using them i'll bring some more amazing and useful tags in other sections i'll also explain you meta and what all difficult part of html i'll cover it Easy part, I can say W3 school is the god for everyone, right? Awesome. That's all uh, from my side in this lecture. And see you soon. Bye bye, guys. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my video, right? And as you know, in these kind of videos, we are able to bring such quality content because of Newton School. Newton School is a, like a platform which helps you guys to perform a great career. Okay? To me, it will help you to build a great career. In full stack development whether you are a working professional or a fresher doesn't matter okay they have different kind of batches for everyone 
if you are a fresher the best thing is you don't have to pay until you guys get placed with a package of 5 lakhs or more if you are experienced depending on your previous package you guys we can sit and decide your new packages right and then finally once you get placed and that's the time to rock so they help you guys to build a great career okay so if you are interested in get, getting a great career in a tech background to check out the link that is below this video okay guys so see you in the next video wait guys where are you going so fast that's not good why because you have to do something small small thing and what are those first do like my uh, video if you really enjoyed it okay give it a thumbs up that's will be quite motivating for me okay subscribe to my channel and do turn on the bell notification like what will happen so you can get the future notifications of all my videos like i upload videos almost daily okay if you have any doubts or confusion don't forget to put a comment i'll try to answer your query as far as possible and you guys know sharing is power right sharing is knowledge as it has been rightly said so if you want both power and knowledge do share it with your friends okay and before you go you can also check out this course on launchpad uh, like on launchpad you'll get much more features like quiz and other things after every video okay okay guys so now i'll see you in the next videos bye bye